Hello and welcome to the second semi-final of my first supercar on Supercars of London. This week we're reviewing the Lamborghini LP570 Performante, but we're actually reviewing it as a Gallardo. But also we've got the Mercedes C63 AMG, which will complete the semi-final top four. Um, and then hopefully in two weeks time, we'll have two cars for the for the, my first supercar final. And then from that, um, I'll be picking one car to purchase to run on Supercars of London YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get in the C63 first. Welcome to semi-final number two of my first supercar. And I'm really excited to be back in the C63 AMG. With the, the, with the, the blue review, sky. The review with the most videos. The, the review with the most videos. <laughs> the review with the, uh, with the most with the most views. views. And do you know what? In the C63 AMG, so much footage got deleted off my video camera that we didn't actually do a tunnel run in it. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> well, that's so, what happened today. So, for the first time, we'll get to do a tunnel run in the C63, in the C63. and have it on camera. Absolutely, <laughs> have it on camera. <laughs> This, so, out, of, out, of, well, out of the four cars that have made it to the semi-finals, this is potentially the most normal, should we say. It's probably the least supercar out of all of them. It is the least. Although it's got the performance mm -hmm. to rival um, the supercars. Which is what puts it in this bracket in the first place. Exactly. It, it, do, it, but it does have aggressive looks though. It does, it does. There's something about the C63, the way that they fly. And the personally, I prefer the looks of this to the GTR. Now that is a sweeping statement. Especially in the C63 Coupe. The C63 Coupe, it does look good, definitely. Right, well, so, so the sun is right in my eyes. But this I keeps happening to you in my first Supercars <laughs> semi-finals. Like, you know, we, we get can... awful rain throughout the week. <laughs> and then, and then the, minute, the, day, the minute I turn up to Premier Velocity, the sun, the sun decides to come out. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm which is, there is no pun intended with that, he does just come down and the sun starts shining. Which is great because we're doing the Performante next. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's our turn. Um, so the kind of the plus points and then the negative then to the C63. Not just as a car, because we've done the review already, but in regards to what you want for your first supercar. Okay? Yeah. So the plus points. You've already said that you like the looks of it, yeah. Um, and it's obvious that a lot of other people do. You, you still see a lot of them in central London. Obviously, the uh, the, the view, uh, the uh, review that we did got lots of attention because it's a popular vehicle. Yeah, um, and it is respected within that kind of division. You know, well, we just you... had someone someone look at, glance over at us. It is, uh, yeah. Well, the, uh, you you do get it all the time. I mean, this is a maybe good they think you're, you're a rapper in your sunglasses. <laughs> Oh, you got to bring it with the sunglasses. Come on, it's sunny. There's you going out off camera. Paul's going, God, I can't see. And there's me. I'm fine because I got my sunglasses on. You look like a rapper, though. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, and you know, and it's got this massive engine, and which we're about to hear now. We're coming to the tunnel. Yeah, I was time just about to say. Run in the C63. Tunnel run. Here we go. Who's going to know about this is Lord Aleem has bought himself a C63 507 edition, yes, which is one up on this. It's one up five, on this, 507, 507 horsepower. horsepower. That is, it's just insane, and, he's, and it's the coupe version as well. Yep. So I'm sure it's uh, it looks lovely, and he's pretty good with specking his cars as well. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure it's going to. Well, it's pretty much nice. it's it's white, black black rims, so it is going to look it's gonna incredible, look pretty mega. And 100% he's going to take me for a ride in that as well. I'm sure he is. <laughs> it's so quick. So the 507 will be even quicker. Absolutely. It, it's it's something to say, you know, for what, for us as reviewers at the same time, that the four cars that we selected, because we did kind of get every aspect, which was good. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Because yeah. the GTR is all about performance, you know. <laughs> the R8 is very refined. It, it does a bit of everything it does well. a little bit of everything well but you know it doesn't yeah, obviously it's not quite as evocative as a Lamborghini for example yeah. um, 
the Lambo that I'm, we're going to be in very soon, that is, you know, that's the big singing or dancing kind of, that is the supercar, you know, that's the pin-up on the wall. It is, exactly. But then, you know, then you've got to think about the price. Um, and, and then the, the C63, C63, it's, uh, it's, it's right at the other end of the supercar spectrum, you know. It's, it is at the other end of the Lamborghini. It is, exactly. It's at the end of the, it's got the, uh, it's got the practicality. Um, it's bringing in some kind of, you know, the new school, um, the kind of the, the, the saloon vibe, that, you know, that goes along. It's with a the, new wave of it's um, the new wave of, of supercars, should we? Yeah, call yeah. Um, or super sedan, cars. absolutely super sedans or whatever. <laughs> One final hurrah for One the C63. Hurrah for the C63, and we love it. Yeah, we do love it. We do. We do. I'm sure I'll see one on my drive at some point throughout my life. Throughout, throughout your life. That's throughout. Very sweet big statement. <laughs> throughout my life. I needed Morgan Freeman to say that. <laughs> <laughs> throughout my life. <laughs> C63 <laughs> and into this, into the lap. <laughs> so, a much more lower down, in much less comfy seats. My head's hitting the roof. Yes. And James is still in his sunglasses. I am still in my sunglasses. <laughs> and the first thing I want to say is. V10 shush first. Just get me acquainted. <laughs> is we're not doing a ridiculous comparison between a 40 grand Mercedes and a 200,000 pound Lamborghini. LP 570 Performante. The reason this is in the final is not because it's the 560. It's actually because we haven't got access to, to one of the older to, to an old Lambo. So this is essentially what we've got. I mean. It's the only thing that we have to review. For I know. Damn it! I know. It's, you know what, it's really annoying. <laughs> and so, you know, whether or not you're in this one or an old four, well then either way, you're always going to understand that that's the kind of vehicle that you're in. Exactly. This is the most, um, obviously, the most outrageous option um, <laughs> in my first scene, in my first supercar, especially you know. Even that's it, true. Yeah, even if it's an old one with a silly exhaust on it, it's still you know, it's still a lot more outrageous than an R8. You can't, you know. It, yeah, is. it, it is. It is. Although the R8 is newer. Yep. It may actually look better. Potentially, yep. It's not a Lamborghini. No, so it's not as outrageous. <laughs> this this is the best sounding car out of all of the out of all the ones that we've done. So it is, yeah, definitely. I mean that you know the V10 is iconic. And it is. if we're gonna talk, you know, try and be realistic again, forget that this is the 570, and this has got the, the later updated 5.2 V10, the original V10 does sound very, very good, especially in the, stun, in the later vehicles. And when you put a sports exhaust on the old one, I think it sounds better than, than the sports exhaust on the new one. Yeah. So, so you know, if we're talking about the car that you know you would potentially consider getting, sound is still a big key factor. It is it the really looks is. and the sound. It's absolutely. absolutely. Contender number four, the Lamborghini, and what James was just saying of, of how we've we've done such a a range of supercars. We've gone from one end of the spectrum to the other, whittling it down to the final four. Yes. And so now we've done all four. We've done all four now, and we need you to comment on what your favourite car is, of course, of the C63 versus the uh, the Lamborghini and maybe even chuck in the Audi R8 and the, the GTR as well and we'll try and find the most popular cars out of the four out of the four and then to we'll do down to two for the my first supercar final to the final to the final which won't happen next week 
Unfortunately, Premier Velocity and myself are unable to film next week. Yeah, we're so there will be a great video coming out on the Saturday as a replacement. Absolutely. And then the following week. And then for the final, we're going to sack off all the cars. We're going to get a twin turbo event <laughs> and just drive it really fast. That's all we're going to do. Weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> hey, nobody knew that one was coming. <laughs> So we're back at Premier Velocity HQ. Thank you everyone for watching my first supercar. We haven't finished yet. Not finished yet, we're close. But make sure that you comment, subscribe, and share this video to all of your friends, and make sure you get as many people Actually, joining now, the journey. Joining the journey. Oh, joining the journey quite late now, to be honest. <laughs> it's almost done. You missed out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.